Hey guys, so today is a very exciting day, but it's very early in the morning. <laughs> BJ's driving right now. We are on our way. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. We are on our way to go see my friend Virginia and uh, our photographer Brenda Stump, and I'm going to be doing my very first underwater mermaid shoot. My very first underwater shoot in general, and I'm going to be in a mermaid too, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm super excited. I've always wanted to do this. Sorry, it's shaking because the car. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to do an underwater shoot and um, I'm really, really excited because they have this stuff down. Like they're the masters at this. Um, they've got like a whole rig set up. There's like a backdrop in the pool and um, hopefully they're gonna be coaching me through it so that uh, I can maybe get at least one good shot. I can't hold my breath very long so I'm pretty nervous about actually being able to stay there, uh, stay down underwater long enough to actually model. Um, we're also gonna attempt to get some video footage. So we'll see how that goes. I'm honestly really, really curious. Today is just kind of like ripping off the band-aid and um, you know, me literally testing the waters <laughs> to uh, figure out if this is something that I want to do more of and that maybe I can't do more of. So um, I wanted to take you guys along on my adventure for better or worse and see what happens. Um, but yeah, let's go. So guys, I am here with Virginia of Shiro's Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has this amazing, amazing mermaid-focused company, right? Yes. And so um, tell us a little bit about like what you do and how you got into it and how you started working with Brenda mm -hmm. and all of the magic. <laughs> so it's actually amazing because I do run Tiro's Entertainment. It's Hollywood's mermaid team. So we go out, we do celebrity parties, we do films, commercials, anything mermaid is kind of our genre, which means we spend a lot of time under the sea. <laughs> and it actually, oddly enough, started back in 2012 because I met this girl down here. That's Brenda Stump. She's an underwater photographer extraordinaire that's been all over the world in magazines like Vogue Italia, etc. But this one day she called me up and she was like, so a model kind of pulled out of this Mexico shoot. Would you like to go to Mexico? And I was like, yes. And then we decided that, you know, if we're going to be shooting, well, then who doesn't want to be a mermaid? I mean, seriously, you know that's a feeling. I mean. <laughs> so we couldn't rent tails. We built our first tails. We learned a lot in five years. You know, now I'm a dive master. I'm a lifeguard. I work for search and rescue for the sheriff, all that stuff. But back then, we were very much, no one made mermaid tails. You mm. couldn't just buy a mermaid tail. And it was really hard to get into. Yeah. So she actually sculpted the first tail mold that we used yes. and did all the you design. Know that. She did. Oh, wow. She's like crazy talented. That's so cool. Right? You guys are such a dream. <laughs> But yeah, so we've been now traveling and working together since 2012, so five years is yeah. like our anniversary. Aww, and our anniversary. <laughs> now we mostly focus on these workshops where we actually teach girls or guys, depending on who's actually here, and they're like, you know what, I love these photos. How do I do that? And so we've made these about literally step by step, working with pros about how do you work on set, how do you pose, what kind of stuff do you wear. And it's a really controlled environment, so people actually have a safe way to learn after five years of mistakes and learning on our part to be able to really get into it and then walk away with some portfolio shots. That's so cool. And you're going to help me today, right? Yes. Because goodness I'm knows I'm going to need help, you guys. So, well, Brenda is basically shooting in the um, area. She's primary on making you look amazing. Yeah. And show, can you show the rig a little bit? And what, because you've created. Yeah, uh, I like designed my lighting and setup and yeah. everything so that I could work with fewer people in the water, because the more people you get in the water, the less, um, the water, well, the water quality goes down and the more chaotic it becomes. And I like really calm sets. I like my sets to be chill. Mm -hmm. Just me, you, my safety. Yes, yeah, uh, we run a really small crew. Like most crews actually have like eight people. And we actually run a two person crew unless we're out on boats and then of course we work with a boat crew. Yeah. But it's been great, you know, after five years we've got it dialed in. And so while she's dealing with that, I'm working with you about keeping us safe, making it look pretty. Yes. And being that encouraging <laughs> voice about no, you don't look like a puffer fish. <laughs> so that's what I Well we'll see guys. We'll see. <laughs> Literally it's just drop down to your knees, take a moment, open your eyes. Do you have a feel on your eyes? Okay. Okay. Yeah, with the makeup. Mm -hmm. Just drop down your knees. Mm -hmm. 
the hair. The hair's going to hit his nail. I am a glitter, see? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So I brought a weight belt over for you. Okay. And we're going to just put some weight on. I wanted to try underwater because I like the ethereal quality that you get from it. Yeah. It's very, um, the lack of gravity yeah. creates a certain quality. But when you start doing that, the first thing people talk about are mermaids. That's so, true. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. So we're going to do that. That's why we went to Mexico. It's like, we're going to go do a big, well, how long were we here? Were there? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. We're like, two weeks, we're going to saturate our lives with mermaids. <laughs> so that's kind of how we got started, and yeah. it's just never stopped. Was it hard? I feel like start like because I feel like this is probably a lot easier yes. to handle. You started in Mexico. Were you in like the open 
Yeah, open water is oh, much more difficult. Yeah. So like usually when I'm working with new people, <laughs> yeah. with new people, I want to start the pool with them. Yeah. Because there's so many things that they got to think about their face, their arms, their feet, their, you know, all these little angles and just getting used to working together and so they feel comfortable with me. And then after the pool, okay, now let's go open water where you're, you know, less grip, you're down 40 feet. Oh shooting. my gosh. So <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we were in Roatan. I'm yeah. glad we're here today. <laughs> doing you're you're going to be in six feet of water? <laughs> yes. That's much more my, my speed. I'm a singing mermaid, guys. Not a, not a swimming mermaid voice? yet. Some of us can't sing. <laughs> I mean, everyone has a voice. Um, some of us I'll teach you to sing. You can teach me to swim. Perfect. It'll be a beautiful relationship. <laughs> <laughs>
got full on, on the shoot, and so I had to wait to come home and, uh, and also charge my phone before I could make this little outro sign off, but oh my gosh, today was amazing. I can't believe I actually, I did it. I did the thing. So I don't know if I did a good job, you know, doing it, but I mean, I tried my best. And uh, after getting to finally experience being a real mermaid for the first time, um, I definitely think that this is something that I would like to try again and maybe practice at and learn to become better at um, because it's really, really magical and fun. Um, something I really, really want to work on is being able to hold my breath longer um, so that I can stay under longer and play more with poses and learn how to control my movement a little better. Um, and yeah, just want to try all the things. So um, I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity. I seriously cannot thank you enough, um, Virginia and uh, Shiro's, and of course to Brenda who did the photography and captured the amazing images. Well, I'm hoping they'll be amazing. <laughs> I haven't seen them yet at this point. And also, I cannot thank enough my amazing team of Carries. <laughs> um, my friend Carrie, Mermaid Carriel, who provided the beautiful tail and custom mermaid top, both custom actually, um, for me to wear for this shoot. They are pure magic, the most comfortable tail I've ever worn. Um, so sparkly and beautiful, and I'm just in love with her work. Um, so definitely make sure to check her out. And then of course, to my other friend Carrie, Carrie Carrie of Scarlet Harlow Design. Um, thank you so much, Carrie, for the amazing tiara. I literally like was just in a dream in all of this magicalness. They actually worked together, by the way, you guys, to um, design the looks to, for everything to go together. Um, I was honestly like so honored that they took the time to help me out for this and hook me up, hook me up, um, <laughs> with the most beautiful stuff to wear. I am such a lucky mermaid. And, um, and also, shout out to I am style uh, wigs, um, or I'm style wigs. I'm not sure uh, how they like to pronounce it, but um, they provided my beautiful silver wig for this shoot as well. And so I'm super, super grateful to them. I believe that they provided us with a discount code for you guys. I think it's Tracy Hines 18, but um, check it in the description box below, and I should have all the updated information for you guys there if you'd like to shop with them. Had a really, really good experience with the wig. It did great underwater and um, stayed on great. I pinned it like crazy and it had a beautiful lace front. Um, my, my head's, it's really funny from the crown. I got a little bit of um, dye on my head so uh, I look a little a little crazy right now. But everything worked out great and everything was um, really comfortable and great to wear. So uh, overall, really amazing experience and I just couldn't be more excited and grateful. Uh, I'm sorry my energy's a bit low right now because obviously I'm super tired. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. today and um, my eyes are a little red from, from, you know, like keeping them open underwater. But it actually was super comfortable in the process. It wasn't bad until I got home and I was like, oh. And here we are in VO again, guys. So sorry, that is where my phone got full. <laughs> and I've learned my lesson a few times over with these past couple of videos, but hang in there with me. I promise uh, I will get better at this. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. And uh, uh, stay tuned for more fun videos. And if you want to tap that little bell icon, it will notify you when I post new videos. I am doing my best to post once per week. I don't always hit it. It can be a little sporadic right now while I'm working out the kinks. So uh, feel free to click that bell if you want to make sure you don't miss the next video. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!